Hi, we are here with Mr. Trent. Uh, he will tell us a little about his experience uh, having Athens Protocol Procedure. Hello, Mr. Trent. Hello. Uh, I want you to tell us a few things about Keratokonos. Uh, uh, okay. When did it start? Okay. Um, well, I first had my eyes checked by a ophthalmologist in the Philippines about five years ago mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to undergo the LASIK procedure because right. I was am still active in sports, mm -hmm. most especially, and um, that's when I first found out about the kind of my condition mm -hmm. and um, and um, and uh, he said to come back to check in and again with him in, in two years. And so I went back about three years ago now. Okay. And that's when he uh, informed me that I wouldn't, I'm not a good candidate for LASIK. Mm -hmm. So hence, Because of the KC and I mean the keratoconus. Yes, because yeah. of the condition that I have with my irregular, irregularly shaped eyeballs. Okay. So now you're 38 years old? Yes. So when you find out that you have keratoconus, you must be 32? Yes. Something like 32, that. 32, 33, yes. Okay. Uh, and how come you came to Greece to have the, this operation done? I mean, mm -hmm. because I know that you live in Manila, mm -hmm. Philippines. Um, Dr. Ong, um, I believe, uh, knew um, Dr. Canel Lupitz. Canel Lupitz, yes. Dr. K. Dr. K. Dr. K. Um, I think through their, maybe their Harvard Association or just through an association of doctors that studied in the U.S. Okay. So he referred me to, to Dr. K, um, even though there were, there is um, available cross-linking procedures around Asia mm -hmm. and there is now in the Philippines but he referred me to him because he was um, the most experienced and the best mm -hmm. in the field at, at doing this procedure so I further had my um, results uh, from American Eye Center in the Philippines reviewed by Dr. Dury mm -hmm. uh, who's a prominent eye doctor in the US mm -hmm. and he also said he also knows Dr. K okay. and he said you're in very good hands so I wanted to go to the best uh, there's no price, it doesn't yeah. matter the, yeah. how much price I put on my eyes, right? Yeah, so that's why I'm here, because mm -hmm. I wanted the best. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell us a few things about your whole experience. I mean, the first okay. time you came to our center, then the, the procedure, the day of the procedure. Okay. How did you feel? I mean, did you, uh, did you feel? Did mm -hmm. you feel safe? Uh, the, if the operation had any pain? Right. Stuff like that. Um, the staff, the employees, everybody here was extremely friendly. Mm -hmm. um, from the day, from the moment I, I walked in, and um, there was um, very little waiting time. Even though there, you have a lot of patients here, everything mm -hmm. moved quite efficiently. It seemed. Yeah. Um, I thought the Flavel, who took care of me um, most of the time, she was um, kept me very well informed. Okay. Um, throughout the test and uh, leading up to the procedure, which I came back the next following day for. Um, the procedure itself, um, Dr. K um, briefed me on it. Um, so I was, a, my anxiety level was, you know, kept at bay and kept at minimum. Mm -hmm. So um, um, he kind of, uh, you know, the procedure, I think when, when it's planned, um, I'm not sure if it was part of the um, kind of keeping my uh, anxiety level down, but they said I experienced a little uncomfort, mm -hmm. um, discomfort, sorry, that night. Um, but it was probably some of the, and I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but it was probably some yeah. of the worst pain that I experienced, um, simply because it's like a, a, it's more, I think it's more uh, because you have like an itch you can't scratch, because yeah, yeah. it's your eyes. Like when you have a, a toothache, it's a weird pain. It's not like breaking a leg or an arm or getting burned or something, you can take that. So it's yeah. the eyes were, pretty bad just for one night yeah the, the next day, day the next day was, we always was, say yeah. that i mean the first day it's gonna be hard yeah it was i could not stop moving around because i couldn't get comfortable so very little sleep but the second day was fine onwards mm -hmm. 
So um, I think overall it's too early to tell yeah, um, because it's, it's been 11 just... days and my eyes are still very, my vision is still very blurry. I know, I know. That's the, so. uh, it gradually it's going to uh, leave the fog. Yes. So yeah. we'll see, we'll see. I hope so. So <laughs> that's all. Uh, I want you to talk about the ex your whole experience and I would, yes. I would also uh, like to ask you if you're going to recommend uh, laser vision to mm -hmm. other patients? Um, it's too early to tell. Yeah, because... From my experience, absolutely. Yeah. Without a doubt, you guys... Just from the experience, guys, because... Yeah, you know, from the experience, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, I mean, gonna, um, yeah. have to wait a little bit more. Yeah, it seems like you have the, all the equipment, the best equipment and the staff. You guys are all fantastic, you know, yeah. and kept me, up, like I said, informed and, and very accommodating. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, overall, Great. overall, I definitely would recommend you. It was a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Me too. Tina. Bye bye. Bye bye.